If you'd like to see how I created this lovely, glamorous piece of wall art using glitter, paint, and Dollar Tree rocks, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube! So today in this video, I'm going to be making a DIY canvas art, abstract art painting uh, with some glitters and some crushed glass. So here are the colors I've narrowed it down to. Um, this is going to be a gift for a friend who just purchased a home. And when she showed me her room, I saw a wall that looked like it needed something on it. And her colors in her room were like uh, cream and chocolate. So I'm debating between this um, caramel, khaki, and milk chocolate colors. I'm gonna try to put a couple highlights in here as well. So we're gonna be go using and get started. Some Recollections glitter. Um, I just recently picked this one up. I've never used it. It's so, so pretty. It's called cinnamon, but it looks like, like a copper brownish color to me. I'm going to be using some Mod Podge. I may even play around with some, um, I may play around with some foils. So we'll see how that goes. And then I'll show you the rest of the process as I go along. My brush came from Dollar Tree. This is another cheap brush as well. Because it's so, so soft, I'll just use this to brush off any excess glitter um, once I get to that point. Um, but okay, let's go ahead. First, what you'll do is squirt on a decent amount of your paint and you'll make sure that it's enough on there so that when you brush it on, it's a full even coverage. So I wanted highlights on this side, so I'm going in with, I believe it was called Chocolate Spice, and I'm just going to take my paintbrush and smooth this in carefully because I wanted to have some highlights on this painting. So that's what I'm doing now, just carefully spreading out my paint. So far, I feel like it's looking um, pretty decent. And when you spread your paint, uh, just be sure to go all the way to the edge on all the... You don't wanna have missing paint on the edges of your painting. So right now I'm just taking my brush and just blending it down the middle so I don't have that harsh line of demarcation. And I'm almost finished. I think later on I will add a little bit more chocolate paint because I did want um, darker highlights. So now I'm using, I believe it was called Classic Caramel. And I'm going to add a hefty amount again and just evenly paint that on to the canvas. I thought this color was uh, really deep and just a really, really pretty color. So you want to go ahead and blend that in.
I think the great thing about this is you can be as creative as you'd like to because you may not see some artwork in the store that matches your home decor or goes along with the theme that you have. You can literally go purchase any color paint you want, paint this right on and create it and just have it match your own personality. That's the wonderful thing about this. And this is just, this is the basics. Like I'm really just um, diving into this. I'm still using the little Walmart paint. This paint is 55 cents, 55 cents. So just imagine that. Now, uh, maybe I'll step it up later and get some seven or eight dollar paint. This stuff can get really expensive. But just starting out using the bare minimals here, um, I think this is coming out pretty good. So don't think this is expensive for you to do. It's really on a budget for how you want to do it, but it'll look expensive when you're done. went in with a little bit more paint on this side because I made a mistake and bumped something and tried to fix it or it was some paint missing from one little spot so hopefully I didn't ruin it so I'm just trying to get it back to having the highlights in it so this is how it's looking now so it's a little altered because I tried to do something and I should have just left it alone so I'll just come back to it So like I said, dry. I was trying something different here. That's why I have this. I don't want this to look like I just didn't put enough paint on here and it's still the white background. Hopefully it looks like highlights because that's the look I'm going for, like highlighted area over here. Um, so now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna take some Mod Podge. Ooh, oh my goodness, okay. I'm gonna take some Mod Podge and I'm just gonna put a little bit on this I'm gonna put a little bit of my patch on here because I have an idea I have an idea I have some foil leaf and I kind of want to just add let's see I'm not gonna do both sides I want to add some foil leaf to I don't know if I want to do both sides so right now I'm just randomly adding just little bits of Mod Podge glue with my sponge brush. You can pick up a pack of these sponge brushes from your Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just adding random little just slits of glue of where I'll be adding the foil leaf. Um, there was no rhyme or reason to this. I just wanted to make sure that I had plenty of it on there because foil leaf is very pretty. It's also very messy. Um, they do have specific glue for foil leaf, so I do know that. I feel like the Mod Podge worked just fine, so I'm just using what I have available. I purchased this foil leaf off of eBay. It was like 100 sheets for five bucks. It probably took a while to come. I think it may have came from China. But I'm just cutting up the foil leaves into strips I was trying to find the best, easiest way possible to lay this on. It's so delicate. You have to be very careful dealing with foil leaf because it just rips right apart. So this was kind of messy and time consuming, but I feel like it was definitely worth it. I definitely do it again and I can't wait to use foil leaf again because I do have a couple other cool colors so, and I actually ordered more off Amazon in some really, really pretty colors. This also looks really pretty in um, resin, like if you're making coasters or something, just as an FYI. I purchased this gold leaf a while ago. A while ago, um, I didn't know exactly what I was going to use it for. I just wanted to have certain things, so when I have an idea for it, I have it to use it. 
This is my brush that I use for dusting things off because it's so soft. This might get a little messy, but I'm just gonna pick this up and dust off and see what stays on and what goes. I did use my Podge, just in case you fast forward it <clears throat> through the video. I did use my Podge to apply this. It was a little messy on my fingers. Next time I'll probably wear gloves, but I used my Podge. I am aware that they have special glues for this. I'll get some of that in the future. But um, let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So just gold flakes flying all over the place. use any glass I'm, I'm going for just I really like textures and I really like um, the thickness and the chunkiness so I have an idea I have some Dollar Tree um, stones and I'm gonna put them in this bowl this is just some foil leaf I just kind of scraped in here for the for the look in the middle I'm going for a brown thick chunky I don't know what I'm going for, so I, it's in my mind, but I can't explain it. So just keep watching what you're seeing me do right now. Let's put these rocks in here. I want them to be brown. If you saw my last video with the gold and blue canvas, I colored my glass with paint, but I colored it gold. So, we'll see how this turns out. Kind of looks like cocoa puffs. And you know I'm all about the sparkle and the glitter, so. Okay, so I'm just stirring this up. I'm going to add some glitter to it to make the rocks have a little sparkle. But as you'll see, the brown was such a powerful dominant color, it wouldn't sparkle. The more I stirred it, that brown just covered right over those, oh, right over that glitter. I added more and the same thing happened. So the best bet is to add it afterwards. That's the Tri Art Liquid Glass. I'm gonna go really heavy towards the middle area. This liquid glass is amazing and I love it. I think I paid about $18 for this bottle on Amazon. Since I purchased this bottle, it's like no longer available, but it's like an alternative to resin. You don't have to mix it with anything. It doesn't have a harsh smell. You just go ahead and put it on wherever, especially where you want that heavy glass or rocks to go. Taking my brush and smoothing that in and also where your glitter is gonna go. So this is like your, your action tool or whatever you wanna call it. This is where the action happens. This is my favorite part. Adding on the texture and adding on the sparkle and the glitter. So I'm just making sure it's spread out with like however you wanna design it is the way you pour it on there. If you want swoops or however you wanna, if I'm explaining that right, however you wanna do it, you put the glass, liquid glass in that motion. Now, I'm taking a glove. This is a little messy. This is worth it as well. I wasn't sure. Putting this on, it just looked like cocoa puffs. And it looked like ground beef. And I was just like, what am I doing? Why did I do this? But after the fact, oh my gosh. This is the perfect example of trusting the process. 
trust the process just trust the process then I'm gonna go in with a smaller um, size rocks that I purchased from Dollar Tree as well these little pebbles I'm gonna color them with a little bit lighter paint just to have a little contrast going here so I'm gonna stir this up add in the smaller rocks and I think that makes it look really nice as well so just go ahead and keep watching Now I'm going in with this uh, cinnamon holographic recollections glitter. It was like $9.99 from Michaels. I absolutely love glitter. I love bling. I love sparkle. So I could just pour this on here all day long. The less you want, um, don't shake on as much. But if you want more, you shake it, shake it, shake it until you don't want to shake it anymore. But I could just go on and on with the glitter because I just love the glitter. Another option, you could just use the rocks and don't even put glitter if that's what you're going for. So you see how you could just kind of customize this to your own liking? So I'm just going to continue to add glitter in these next two clips here. Now I'm going in with another Recollections glitter. This one is like a gold and silver. Dry overnight, outfit. and then I'll come it's back tomorrow. I'll shake it off. We have sat for a whole day, and then we're almost finished. I've done some other in projects in between. Set. Once I, I have my big trusty brush day. here. I have a box so I can pour off and see what's gonna stay, see what's gonna leave. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And this one is different. This is the one where I painted. I painted the rocks because I wanted something darker in the middle, but then I was hoping that it wasn't looking like uh, ground beef. <laughs> I was hoping that it wasn't giving like a meat look. <laughs> so hopefully this stayed on here really good. I hope it doesn't just all fall off. So here we go. So far it looks like it's hanging on pretty good. So far, it's just the, some of the glitters coming off and it's not the actual rocks. I am so impressed. This is why I really, really like this liquid art. I mean, I really like this liquid glass because it is really holding it down. And I have that nice, thick, chunky texture, which is what I really, really, really like. I'm so happy with this. Oh, I just thought it was gonna just come out and I don't want that. This is, it's giving what I want. And I, you know, I give a really nice hard brush because I don't want this to start coming off once it's um, hanging up. 
this is nice. And I love this confetti sparkly holographic um, chunky glitter. I love this. It's really behaving well. So I'm gonna probably speed this up and just keep on knocking off what's gonna leave. Cause so far I don't seal. I really don't see the need to seal. That's just me. I feel like if I brush everything off good enough, then there's no need to seal anything in. Wow, I'm so impressed. And I really do like the, um, the what is it called? The um, foil leaf. I really, really like this foil leaf. That was messy. That stuff was flying all across um, and blowing in the air. Cause it's so thin and as soon as you touch it, it just kind of flies away. But it's a really, really, really pretty effect. It really is. Now I'm gonna flip it and brush off the opposite direction as well. And then if you can see in here, let me just show you. Look you guys, so far all I have is some glitter here. I don't have any of the rocks coming off. And this is the way I, it'll probably be hung, light to dark. And I was trying something different. I was, um, let's see. I was trying something different here, trying my best to get some highlights here, and it came out nice. I like how my highlights came out. So I'm just gonna continue to brush from a different direction. Okay, you guys, here is the final results of this canvas art painting. I love it because it's so different from the other ones that I've done. It's not as sparkly. It's like kind of toned down, but not toned down. Like, I really, really enjoy the foil leaf. It's like a nice metallic um, shimmer going on. I like the highlights I created. It was my first time trying that. The rocks, at first I wasn't sure about it. I love it. I love the bigger size rocks. I like how I went between with the smaller pebbles. I love the glitter added on top and I like how the glitter didn't completely take over the rocks and you can still see that it's rocks there. I really, really like that. I like how it's like a lot going on, but not a lot going on. I don't know, I think everything just kind of came together very, very well. And using these colors is like a big deal for me because I usually go for the brighter colors. I went more with these neutral nude colors and I just really think it's so amazing. And I already delivered this painting to my friend for her bedroom and she loves it. Absolutely loves it. And it looks so great in her room, on her wall. The wall was so empty. She needed something and this was like the perfect accent for her wall. So I'm just really glad that she likes it. I really enjoy making these paintings. It's so, so therapeutic. And you know, abstract art, you just don't really know how it's gonna come out. So I think that's like the great thing about it. You just kind of do what you think at the time and then when it comes out, you just kind of examine it and it comes out nice. And I want to show you guys in the next clip some other paintings that I've done recently. So be sure to check those videos out as well. And I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy and if you'd like to see more videos like this, um, share it on uh, Facebook if you can subscribe to this channel if you'd like to if not thank you so much for stopping by also be sure to check out my playlist I do have a whole playlist of the canvases that I've done and other really cool playlists as well and I just want to say hello to my new subscribers and hello and thank you to my old subscribers thanks again bye bye